Good morning, Pastor Chris Wickland here uh, with uh, uh, another prophetic word, I believe, from the Lord. And I received this on the 21st of the 8th, 2023. It's called The Call to the Wilderness. And uh, Hosea 2, 16, verse 18a and verse 19 is the base text of which I was meditating upon, from which this word came uh, from. And the text says, therefore, behold, I am, will lure her and bring her in the wilderness and speak to her heart. And it will be at that day, says the Lord, you will call me Ishi for my husband. Well, that's what the word in Hebrew means. Ishi means husband. For I shall take away the names of Baalim out of her mouth and they will no longer be remembered by their names. And as I was meditating on this and uh, was on that passage, I felt God wanted to speak to his church. And it's a message of hope, deliverance and joy. And um, this is what I felt that I was getting this morning. I believe God is coming to lure his church, his beautiful church, into the place of the wilderness. For he loves his church with such a tender love. And I sense that he weeps for his bride to be, his church with such yearning. But what has become of us, the church, God's holy virgin? We are supposed to be keeping ourselves chaste to him. We're supposed to be always prepared for his returning. We are supposed to be looking our best at all times, for we know not the day or the hour of his return. We're to be washed and perfumed for Jesus, our love. We're called to be pure and spotless. But look at us. We've grown fat. Our hair is dishevelled. Our wedding garments are old and tattered and soiled. We are carousing in places where a woman of honour and status should not be frequenting. We wear the cheap perfume of the world and we have stopped looking for his return. In fact, many no, no longer believe he will ever return. We have become faithless. And we've broken our beloved's heart. I believe that God will be bringing his church into the wilderness, but with a heart of love. For even though we look a mess, God still sees the beauty of his church and how beautiful she will yet become. We have grown too reliant upon ourselves and our own ideas. We've become rich, fat and lazy. I believe God is going to lure us, his church, into the wilderness where he is going to show us his love and refine us. In that wilderness, we shall again look to him. And he will tenderly look after us, as he did for Israel in the wilderness those 40 years. As he strips away the distractions, I believe we will in time grow tired of looking at the desert. And then finally, we will lift up our eyes to him. We'll be ashamed in that day for what we have become. But knowing that he loves us with a tender love and that he will restore us. He will never fail us, he will never fail or forsake his people. He will tenderly feed us with his sweet bread from heaven. He will teach us again his ways and his precepts. Our hearts will burn again with sweet love for him. We will learn to raise our hands in true prayer and true worship once again. We'll reclothe ourselves and wash our filthy garments. The church will again learn to eagerly desire and await his return, as the church once did at the beginning. In the place of the wilderness, we will again call Jesus husband. In the place of the wilderness, we'll understand what it means to be the bride of Christ. We'll put away our crusades and idols of the day. We will burn them and grind them to dust. Never again will we bow down before the spirit of the age and never again will we embrace false gods and philosophies. We'll be besotted by him, the one true God. We will love his ways, his statutes and his ordinances. When the church comes to this place and we call him beloved, then and only then will he return to take his kingdom, take us, sorry, to his kingdom where he, where we shall consummate our love for one another. I believe God is saying these words, my bride, my people, hasten my return by your love for me.